You guys might notice in this video that my voice is a little bit rusty, a little bit croaky. I had the worst virus I have ever had of my entire life the last two weeks. This is why I haven't been on YouTube. And no, not the virus that everyone has been talking about for the last two years. Some completely different new one that totally wrecked my throat and my voice and I am still recovering. It was hectic. But anyway, nevertheless, here I am. So in this video, we are doing another reacting to influencers in real life video. And in this video, we are discussing Daisy Keach. Before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been using Function of Beauty for many, many years now. And for good reason, because my hair was a mess. I have dyed my hair every color under the sun in my youth. I was pink and then I was bleach blonde and then I was purple and then I bleached the purple out and then I went dark and then I went pink again and then I bleached that too. So as you guys can imagine, my hair was dead. So I started using Function of Beauty over three years ago. As you guys can see, I've curled my hair today, but even the ends look so hydrated. If you go to the grocery store or the chemist store, the drug store, and you pick up a generic shampoo and conditioner off the shelf, it might say that it's for dry hair or for oily hair or that it's a hydrating formula. But those formulas are not taking into account your individual hair type. You might have oily roots but dry ends. You might have a dry scalp but fine hair. So a hydrating formula is just gonna weigh your hair down. And that is why Function of Beauty is so different from the rest and why it works so bloody well compared to any other shampoo and conditioner on the market. So Function of Beauty is customized, personalized hair care for your individual hair. Now you don't have to be a scientist, you don't have to be a celebrity to have custom hair care formulated for your individual hair type. All you do is you go to Function of Beauty's website and you fill out, it's like a little five minute quiz. You tell them basically what your hair concerns are and then you tell them what you want from your hair. So for me, when I'm designing my shampoo and conditioner, I always go for a hydrating blend. I want something that's gonna moisturize my ends. I want it to help bring my curl back. And I'm also a bit of a control freak and I also don't want any silicones in my shampoo and conditioner. I don't want any synthetic fragrance. I can put that control freak nature of mine into action and I don't have to have any of those things in my shampoo and conditioner. And that's why my shampoo and conditioner is white because I have no dye, I have no silicones, I have no fragrance in here because that's how I like it. Another great thing about customizable hair care is that you can change it up depending on your hair needs for the season. So for example, in summer, you might design a more hydrating blend to deal with the sun and salt water. And in winter, you might go for a lighter form formula as you're inside a lot more. If you guys, like I was, are sick of using the generic shampoo and conditioner off the shelf that just frankly doesn't work for your hair and you want to give personalized hair care a try, I will put the link to Function of Beauty's quiz in the description box down below. You can go over there and check it out and they have also offered you guys 25% off, which is amazing. So if you click on the link, that'll give you the discount as well. So who the heck is Daisy Keach? Daisy Keach is a 23 year old influencer from Los Angeles, California. She has over 6 million followers on Instagram and 3 million on YouTube. So yes, her influence is huge. She is a big deal. Now I've said before guys, I do live under a rock. I don't follow influencers on any platform. It's just not my thing, but I had so many requests on my other videos in this series to do a video on Daisy Keach and I was like, who is this mysterious Daisy Keach? So I set about researching her and here we are, we are doing this video. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I probably am gonna come across a little bit critical in this video, but my criticism is not aimed directly at Daisy. Daisy is not the only one at fault here. Daisy actually seems like a really sweet woman who is just hustling and living her best life and doing her thing and I really respect that. She also has really cute dogs and as you guys know I am a dog person. I have rescue dogs myself so I like that too. I always get comments on my videos when I'm not totally sunshine and rainbows and when I actually put my frustrations across or when I actually truthfully speak my mind I get people in the comments like oh you're so negative in this video uh. being so negative honestly guys sometimes negativity is warranted okay I personally don't like all this fake positivity like we must always be happy and positive no that's not real life the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows so my criticism in this video is not aimed at Daisy in particular it's more at the whole world of fitfluencers 
fitness influencers and diet culture in general. So let's take a look at Daisy's Instagram first. Daisy is in great shape. She is clearly fit and strong. She clearly works out. She is proud of her body and good for her. So should we all be? Obviously on her Instagram, like most influencers, she posts very posed, very angled, very filtered pictures. Like they all are, I feel like all top influencers they could like literally all merge into one person. They all just look so alike. They all have the same body. They all have the same face. They all post the same kinds of pictures and they all have so many followers. And I'm like, when is it going to get boring? <laughs> Again, that is no fault to Daisy at all. Like she's killing it. That is just my general observation of the influence world. So Daisy's Instagram, I'm not actually going to put her feed up here on the screen like I usually do because she's gone from kind of like fitness influencer, fit fluencer, to more of like a lingerie model. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but her pictures all kind of follow the same thing. So always showing off how flat her belly is, always showing off how tiny her waist is, always posed, always contorting her body and angling herself in a way that's going to make her belly and her waist look as teeny as possible and her butt look as big as possible. If you guys have ever tried doing that, like literally go and stand in front of your mirror and try doing that and try holding that pose for as long as you can. It is so bloody uncomfortable to suck your belly into that extent and like contort your body and your spine to make your butt look bigger and your waist look smaller. Like I don't know how these influencers do it. Honestly, they have, they have the patience of saints. Daisy Keach has a great, strong, fit body. But as always with these kinds of things, the Daisy Keach of Instagram doesn't look exactly the same as the Daisy Keach of real life. Then we have Daisy Keecher's What I Eat in a Day videos on YouTube. And guys, I could talk all day about this because as you guys might know, I'm studying holistic nutrition. I take nutrition so seriously because it is a bloody rampant problem in today's society. Women just aren't eating enough to nourish themselves and it's fitfluencers like Daisy, not just Daisy, but people like her that are encouraging inadvertently other women to not eat enough and it's wrecking like a whole generation of women and I'm pissed off. So let's take a look at Daisy's what I eat in a day for a flat stomach and big booty video. Where in the diet culture do I even start with this? Daisy clearly subscribes to diet culture, which I am so against for so many reasons. But basically in the video, she is showing you what she's eating on a daily basis. So she makes herself breakfast and she has one piece of toast. <laughs> one piece for breakfast. She says in the video that she doesn't think that eating sourdough toast is that bad if you have just one piece and you are going to work out straight after. Okay, so I have my sourdough toast cooking in the oven. So cute, and yes, I eat sourdough toast. I don't think it's honestly that bad if you just have one and you're about to go work out, so you're gonna go burn it off anyways. What? That's not all, folks. For lunch, I thought she might have a proper meal since her breakfast was so small, but alas, she did not. She had a smoothie filled mostly with ice, a handful of spinach, a banana, a bit of almond butter and almond milk. And at this point in the video, she makes a big point of saying that she wouldn't usually have a whole banana. She would usually only have half a banana, but because she has just worked out, she is allowing herself to have a whole banana. I'm gonna make my protein shake, but I'm gonna kind of make it, oops, I'm gonna kind of make it into a meal. And then I do a whole banana. And I'm doing a whole banana because I just worked out. So usually I do half if I didn't just work out, but since I did, I'm gonna do whole. I despair. This smoothie is a snack. It is not a meal, you guys. It just really pains me that young women or women in general or people in general are watching videos like this and thinking that they should actually be eating this way if they want to have a body like daisies. Guys, this is like atrociously under eating. This is not eating enough food to fuel your body. Food is fuel. Food is not there to guilt you or make you feel shit about yourself or make you feel like if you've eaten anything, God forbid a whole banana or two pieces of toast, you need to run out and work it off. That is, that ain't it. Women of childbearing age need to eat an appropriate amount of calories in order to fuel their bodies and their metabolisms. And most importantly, 
balance their hormones. How many girls do you know walking around right now whose hormones are so out of whack, they've got painful periods, acne, digestive issues, like the list goes on and on and on, and it all comes back to not fueling your body appropriately or with the proper foods. Restricting calories in order to manipulate your body into something it never wanted to look like, so it could look like Daisy Keach's Instagram body, is not healthy and it's not gonna make you happy. It will make you hungry and wanting to eat more food, and then if you do eat more food, it's inevitable that you're gonna feel guilty about it and shame yourself about it because you didn't have enough willpower or discipline to stick to the diet. But that's what this is, guys. It's a severely restrictive diet, and I'm sick of seeing it promoted all over social media. Back to Daisy's video, I was still then expecting after her tiny smoothie for lunch that she might have a snack in between lunch and dinner. Of course not, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> she did not, she goes straight to dinner. And to be fair, her dinner actually does look quite nourishing. It looks quite nutrient dense and it would be a great meal. It's got rice and chicken and nuts, except her portion size is so small. Like my son is not even three yet and he would eat that much. Her portion size is way too small for a woman of her age let alone a woman of her age who has barely eaten anything else throughout the day and she's been working out. I'm a small human and even I feel hungry looking at what Daisy eats in a day. I can only imagine that she is also hungry. What it boils down to is that this is not a sustainable way of eating. What Daisy ate in that day is reminiscent, I suppose, of what she eats every other day, hence why she's made the video. That is a restrictive diet. That is not a sustainable way of fueling your body or balancing your hormones or eating to support your metabolism. If you guys have ever watched a video like that and you felt like you need to eat less and work out harder, please don't guys. Food is good. Food is fuel for your body. Please eat. Abby Sharp did a great video on this if you guys are interested. I don't always agree with everything Abby says, but I think she hit the nail on the head with this particular video. I'll put a link to hers in the description box down below. Then, to top it all off, and this is where I get really cynical guys, is I went on YouTube and when I typed in Daisy Keach, Daisy Keach's videos didn't actually come up, but a bunch of other videos from other women making videos on their attempts at following Daisy's diet or doing Daisy's workouts came up. And what irked me is that the thumbnails, like the thumbnails are so deceiving. It's like, I lost all this weight in one week following Daisy Keach's diet and workout plan. It's like, no, you didn't. You might've lost a bit of water weight, but you're not gonna lose fat that quickly and even if you could you wouldn't want to because that is not healthy for your body these girls implying that they got abs in one week from following daisy's diet and workout routines is just it's so damaging like it's damaging for the girls filming these videos and it's damaging for people watching it the thing is and why i get so riled up about this and why i really dislike fitness influencers is because you could eat the exact same food as a fitness influencer for a year. And you could follow the exact same workouts they do to a T perfectly, and yet you will still never ever have the same body as that influencer. And no, it's not because you're less beautiful or less worthy or you try less hard or you're less body goals. It's because the fact of life is that we all have different genetics. We are not all meant to have the exact same body shape or body type. We all literally have different skeletal structures, different bone structure. You cannot work out or diet your way to a different shaped skeleton. Your bones aren't going to change. These girls that are innocently making these YouTube videos trying to emulate Daisy's lifestyle in order to achieve her body are never going to achieve it. What will happen though is that through these restrictive diets and workouts, they will damage their metabolisms. They will be miserable because they're bloody hungry and they're trying to force their beautiful individual bodies to look like someone else's. That is not healthy for your physical body or for your mind. And that is why I make these videos because someone needs to say it. YouTube and Instagram is filled with these fit fluences promoting their restrictive diets and their hectic workout routines, but it's like, guys, please stop and think for a moment about what you're actually promoting here. Moving on to my next point is that Daisy also sells workout and detox and diet plans on her website to her followers, which in a way I fully support because I mean, a girl's gotta make money, a girl's gotta eat. But these workout plans are not tailored to the individual. These are generic workout plans that you could literally find for free on Google. They don't take into account her client's genetics, general health, body type, nutritional deficiencies. In my opinion, it's just a quick and easy way for Daisy to make a quick buck. 
which again, I don't really have a problem with. However, considering that the vast majority of people that are going to be spending their hard earned money on these quite expensive workout and diet and detox plans are doing so in order to achieve Daisy's body, because let's be real here on her website, the pictures next to these workout plans and diet plans and detox plans is Daisy's body, her flat stomach, her small waist, her big booty. The people buying these plans are doing so in order to have Daisy's body. And again, it's never gonna happen. Even Daisy doesn't have the body of Daisy on Instagram. Now here's a bit of sunshine positivity for you guys. What I do like about Daisy's message is that it is important to exercise and important to work out because for all I am a fan of eating food, I also do know that it is important to move your body. Living a sedentary lifestyle is not healthy for you in any way, shape or form. Exercise is super important and I like that Daisy promotes that, but not for the reasons that Daisy promotes that. Exercise and workouts are not healthy if you're using them to manipulate your body into looking like an Instagram caricature. Exercise is important because it gets your lymph flowing, it gets your blood and your circulation moving. Having muscle is good for your health. But I just get so frustrated when I go on Google and I'm researching for these videos for you guys and I'm looking at these pictures of these influencers in real life and they're, they're beautiful, healthy, lovely looking women in real life and I'm like, they're gorgeous. Like, what what is there to change? And then I go on their Instagram and I'm like, girl, you don't look like that. I don't look like that. Nobody looks like that. <laughs> Ugh, you guys, I'm gonna leave this video here. If you want me to film another video in this series, let me know in the comments what influencers you want me to research and make a video on. I love your guts, guys, and I'll see you in my next video, hopefully with my voice back to normal. Bye.